guys, I'm back, and in this video, you're going to see a surprise, which is going to be later on. And also in this video, I'm going to teach you some basic budgie care. And let's get started. Okay, so when you first get your budgie, you're going to have to need a cage. Um, a perfect size cage for one budgie is a 15 inch cage by 15 inch cage. This is how it's supposed to look like. I know I have two budgies, but I'm gonna get a bigger cage for them, or I'm gonna get a different cage for Kiwi and Blueberry. I'm not really sure right now. So let's move on to the next step. You're gonna have to need food. Um, I use I use seed and pellets for their food. Here's an example of what I use. They love that. I recommend pellets, or maybe if you want, you can put seeds and pellets together. Um, that's fine. Just put put more pellets. You're also gonna need a cuddle bone or a mineral block. Um, you especially need this if you're breeding budgies, um, because the female needs calcium to lay the eggs, to make the eggs. So, I use a mineral block. I used to have a cuddle bone, but, um, I use a mineral block. I heard a cuddle bone is more, like, cheap, but a cuddle bone is more expensive, so, yeah. The next thing you, if, if you want, this is optional. You can make a happy hut, or you can buy one. In this case, I made a happy hut. Um, it's fairly easy to make. All you need is cardboard, um, thread, and um, fabric, which I had. Or you can make this even easier one. It's made out of socks. I'm gonna show you. Okay, so that was another example. You're also gonna have to give them veggies, fruits and veggies. Um, I give um, blueberry and kiwi, um, grapes, um, carrots, strawberries, and mango, and sometimes corn, if I uh, make corn. Um, give them veggies two to three times a week they need their minerals from the veggies so it's a good idea well you have to give them veggies and fruits also if you get a male and a female they might um feed each other the male is gonna feed the female like um what blueberry is doing right now or they might preen each other um sometimes boys and boys or girls and girls do this but um the female and male do this too and if you don't want them to breed, just don't put a nesting box. If they don't have anywhere to lay their eggs, they won't um, lay eggs. So if you don't want to breed, don't put a nesting box. Um, you're also going to want some toys. Maybe just put a plain string here. Um, I made a toy. I put like paper on the string here. Um, but blueberry ripped the whole toy up and now they just like to play with the strings so it's a good idea to make your own toys but you should also buy a few toys too um they love their bell they love their um that um those three balls um they also like that bee toy too so make sure they have <coughs> um two to three toys in their cage and switch them around to make it interesting so they won't get bored Now for cleaning the cage. If you want to clean the cage, um, put paper at the bottom. Like some cage cages have this sliding sliding thing. You just slide it in and out. I changed it this morning, so I recommend putting paper, newspaper, cardboard on that, and clean it. Um, 
once a week. If you have two budgies, maybe you should clean it a little more often because they can make a bigger mess. You're also going to need perches. You're going to have to need two to three perches. I have three perches here and put them at different heights. Um, the budgies will most likely sleep at the top of the cage, like the highest point. Um, Bluebeer and Kiwi like to sleep at the top at, at this perch. Sometimes Kiwi likes swing, um, sleeping at that swing over there. Um, sometimes budgies like um, sleeping in a bed if you make them a bed, like this, like what I did. So make sure the perches are at different heights. If you see your budgie preening, I know most of like a first time owner, budgie owner, um, um, might not know what this is, but this is called preening. It's when they clean themselves. So if they do this, or if they fluff themselves up, just to, they just do that to preen each other. But sometimes it can be, if they preen too much, if like, if they scratch too much of one place, um, they might have mites or something. So, uh, make sure to get them checked and take it, take them to the vet once a year for a checkup. Most pet stores um, have their budgies clipped, some do not, but when I got Kiwi a few weeks, two, one week ago, um, um, her wings came clipped. I clipped Blueberry's wings, but um, um, his wings are growing back, so Blueberry's going to be able to fly now. I clipped Blueberry's wings so I can take him out and he won't like fly into things or get stuck. Um, that's the safest thing to do if you want to take them out. But once you really have a bond with them, um, it can it can just start um, like you don't have to clip your wings so they can just fly around the house. Or if they if you want them to come you come to you, you can teach them how to come to you. Also, when you when you go to the pet store, look for a healthy budgies budgie. So a healthy budgie. Uh, moves around a lot, um, plays, plays with his toys, eats, don't look for a budgie that's just sitting at the bottom of the cage at the pet store, or don't look for one that's just sitting there, unless it's sleeping, and it's fine, just don't look for one that's, like, all fluffed up, and, um, at the bottom of the cage, so just don't look for the ones that are sick. Okay, so now I'm going to show you the surprise. Get ready. I got caterpillars. So I'm going to raise them until they're moths and let them go. So don't worry, I'm not, I'm not going to keep them forever. But I'm just going to study them. Um, here's one. They're, um, they're called a, a green tent caterpillar or something. I don't know. But they're caterpillars. They're really cool. As you can see, they, they like to move a lot. I have two of these big ones and one small inchworm, which is somewhere over, around here hiding. So here they are, and I'll show you some pictures. Well, that's about it. Um, it's time for the end of the video. Remember to keep requesting videos. Request videos down below in the comments. And re please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for watching, and bye!